Hello again. I forgot the drawing. So today we're getting on with building the gantry assembly, which is basically, if you remember from the last episode, we built this. And so this rides along the gantry for that X axis motion. So we'll take that off to the side. We don't need that this time. Well, we do when we assemble it to the frame, but for now, we're just sticking with this stuff here. As with every other time, make sure you have all the parts on the bill of materials listed on the drawing before you start, as that's all the bits you will need to assemble this section. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, and Allen keys as well. You didn't gonna need Allen keys, plastic bits, you know. So the way this assembly works is pretty simple. It's basically this. So this assembly is basically one of these, but twice. It's the same thing, both ends. On one end it's one way up, on the other end it's the other way up. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So you make the same thing twice. That's why there's only one end shown on the drawing. It's the same thing, both ends, but on one end is the other way up to the other. Got it? Excellent. Let's get started. So as with pretty much every other assembly, a good way to start is fill those little recessed holes with nuts. Same as every other assembly, just push them in and you're good to go. Is this side that's shown, it's shown this way up in the drawing, so we'll go with building it, try and, I'll try and do it this way up. Uh, da, 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 da. So that's coming up through there. Need a couple of bearings in here. This should be one of the quickest assemblies. Let's see how quick we can do it. Don't rush. Some of the screws are a little bit long. If you want to use slightly shorter ones, you're welcome to. I just try to uh, reduce the part count in the bill of materials so you didn't have to buy 25 mil screws and 22 mil screws and 20 mil screws. So these ones are a little bit longer than necessary, but you know, it makes the whole thing a little bit easier if you don't have too many different types, different lengths of screws. Uh, for tightness, obviously with this, this is where the belt runs. You obviously want to make sure that this can still rotate freely. If it can't, then, well, you're going to be pretty screwed. But equally, you don't want it coming out. So you want a bit of tightness, but not too much. Excellent. Easy peasy. I don't think there's a lot more to it, to be honest. Oh yes, these bits. What length screw do we have going in there? 12. So that's that. These fit onto here, but we've got to clamp that round the bearing on here. So we'll do that in a bit. Next, let's make the other one of these. Very, very easy things. So there we now have two identical ones of those, and you should have oops, daisy, eight screws left and eight nuts left. Why do I have a screw here? Because I've miscounted something. One. Why is that magnetic? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Why? These are stainless steel fixings, and they seem to be magnetic. Okay, let's just ignore that. Um, right, so fixing it to the frame. Remember, one goes one way up, one goes the other way up, but for the first one, on how you like, just presses in to the end there. It shouldn't be a hard push, it's just, that's just how it lines it up. That goes on the other side again, nothing too hard. And then you put a screw in to clamp through here. Then you can see the screw will start to come through this side as it does. 
You'll whack a nut on. This is a lot easier than I'm making it look because I'm trying to give it decent camera angle as well. Okay, you can just sort of put it on. And there you go, that's now on there. And if you've done it right, it will slide really nice and loosely like so. Don't do what I did, because I've put that one on upside down. <laughs>